Are you a pooper scooper? You need a pooper scooper? <laughs> Mama's coming. Mama. Mama. Man, he would have taken so much damage if I wouldn't have played Thorn on one. Because we'd have hit him with a 6-6 six, six Mimic this turn. <laughs> Man, so we would hit him for four last turn and would have attacked for ten this turn if I would have just played Mimic on one instead of being a little bit defensive with this thorn. So maybe that was a mistake. It's actually it's quite possible that was a mistake. So this would probably just be lethal this turn if I would have played the Mimic on one. Oh, did he not? You didn't check before taking it off? Yeah, oh, okay. Get Ratchet Bum out here, start ticking it up. It looks like we're going to win this game anyways, uh, hopefully, but uh, definitely, I think, I'm, I'm pretty confident I should have played Mimic on 1 this game. Yeah, it would have been 4 plus 10 plus... Plus, yeah, just a ton of damage. So what's in his hand? His hand is Banishing Light, Doom Wake, Enchantress Presence, and then cards we don't know. He can get rid of the Endless one here, but then he's just dead. Yeah, so we got it. Sweet. 4-1. Uh, we also won the two-man before, so... Let's talk about a couple quick changes here. The Mox Diamonds were super unimpressive. Did I get a fourth Wasteland? I did get a fourth Wasteland. So I want to add a Wasteland, and I want to add an Endbringer. I'm going to add an Endbringer here. We want Whirl, Crucible of Worlds in the board. Two of these. I might, we might want another, might want another dismember somewhere. I don't think I want to try Crystal Veil. I think I'm fine with just like these 25 lands. And I think I'm going to trim a Tormage Crypt for now, which might be greedy, but like Sphere of Resistance is pretty good against a lot of the graveyard decks. I haven't wanted a fourth city. I think, I think the fourth city is better than the first Crystal Vein, but I don't think we want, we'd want that. I could see trimming a Warping Whale or a... I could see cutting any one of these cards because we have four of all of these in the 75 right now. I think I want two Crips. Yeah, definitely. Like, I want I want some Crips, but I think... Uh, I think I want Crucible more. I definitely think I want... Maybe three Spheres is too many because Tormod's Crypt is also good against... Also reasonable against Storm. So, like... Maybe we just like cut one of these and then leave the other crypt. Just because it's fast hate against the really quick decks, just like Sphere is. Okay. And then I think I think I want three ratchet bombs, so I'm gonna trim. I think it's either Warping Whale or Phyrexian Revoker. They're both pretty good against um Sneak and Show, but Warping Whale is probably gets the nod because it can counter things out of Storm as well. Hmm. Spatial Contortion is another card we can try. I'm not sure Spatial Contortion is often going to be better than just, like, having Dismember. So. Yeah, I'm going to trim. I'm going to trim the third Revoker for now. And I think this this is what we're going to try tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night, guys. It's, all, it's already after 10 o'clock here. Um, I was away for the weekend, so I needed to do some catch-up and get my article written. Uh, I'm going to have an article posted this week on uh, MTG Card Market talking about the Kiki Core deck that I played this weekend to my third top eight finish. Top eight in all three modern opens this year. Um, we're going to talk about uh, if you want to play it in Detroit, I would not recommend playing it. I'd recommend playing Eldrazi or Affinity. But if you're 100% uh, set on playing Kiki Core like I have been, I'm going to have some updates and talking about why I played the cards I did and everything like that. So, uh... 
That being said, we're going to be back tomorrow afternoon about 1 o'clock Central Standard Time playing some more Eldrazi. I appreciate all of the new subs. I appreciate all the new followers. You guys are the reason I'm able to keep doing this and the reason that I want to keep doing it. So, uh, thanks for hanging out, folks. I'm going to find uh, someone who is on the Card Hoarder Network to, to host here. Who, who do I like? Who's streaming some, some something or other? Mox Flip is a very reasonable guy. We're going to go ahead and host him. Thanks for hanging out, folks.